Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to run the game Deep Rock Galactic Survivor on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this is a Windows only game, I'm afraid there's no Mac version. However, we can run the Windows version through something called Crossover using D3D Metal, which is Apple's game porting toolkit and getting it working at near native level on the Apple Silicon Mac. So in this video today, I'm going to show you the full tutorial on how to do this. We're going to be installing Crossover. We're going to be setting up D3D Metal and we're going to get Deep Rock Galactic on Steam working as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. So the first thing that we are going to do is download Crossover 24. So make sure to scroll down and then click on the link at the top of the description. Every single purchase that's made through this link helps to support this channel and the content that I create. So click on the link at the top of the description here and you'll be taken to the Code Boovers website. And in this promo code box, make sure to use the code Apple Gaming Wiki New and you'll get a huge 20% discount off your purchase. But if you're not quite ready to commit to a full purchase of Crossover, then make sure to go back to the homepage and then scroll down and you can make use of a fully featured 14 day free trial here. Just press the try now button and then scroll down and then enter your name and email address. And I'm gonna press the download trial now button to make use of this trial. So once you have made a purchase, then go and log into your Codeweavers account and then go to the downloads button here and then make sure to download the latest version of Crossover. So once that's finished downloading, we're gonna to go to our finder button here and then go to downloads. And then we have our Crossover 24.0.0 zip, which is the latest at the time of recording, double click. And then it's gonna go ahead and extract into downloads. We're gonna drag and drop this into our applications folder folder here. So just drag and drop. And then within our applications folder, we're going to find Crossover and then double click. And it's saying here, Crossover is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press open. So now that Crossover is open, we're going to go ahead and install the most popular Windows game launcher, which is Steam. So I'm going to press this install button on the bottom left, and I'm going to type in the word Steam, and we're going to click on the Steam button here. And this is basically a Steam installer wizard. We're going to press the install button here, and it's going to go ahead and automate all of the processes that we need for Steam to install, including building what's called a bottle, and then downloading any dependencies that it needs. So here it's saying creating Steam Bottle, installing fonts. Here, if anything pops up, just press yes. And a lot of this just happens in the background. So now we have the Windows Steam installer opened up here. We're going to go through the Windows installation process. Just press yes to English. We're going to install it within the default location within the bottle and then press next. And what I normally advise people to do is not to click run Steam. I'm going to press the finish button here so that the entire bottle can finish creating. So this means that this bottle entry has now been listed here. So at this stage, I would advise changing some settings. It depends on the game that you're going to be running as well. So D3D Metal, for example, which comes from Apple's Game Porting Toolkit, allows you to run DirectX 11 and 12 games on the Mac. If you want to turn this on, most games are going to benefit from this. Or alternatively, we have DXVK, which is the older method for running DirectX 11 games. Some games work better through this, for example, Overwatch 2. So you might want to toggle this on instead. So you can only toggle one or the other. And if you have neither of these turned on and you're trying to run a DirectX 11 or 12 game, then that's going to run through Wine D3D. Also as well, we have the option of eSync or MSync. I will turn on MSync sync which is compatible for most games and it's going to increase performance as well so just click on the reboot bottle and enable msync so we're basically ready to open up steam so just double click on the steam icon here and it's saying here it's downloading an update so that's the windows version of steam updating itself so now the steam login window has opened up so if you don't have a steam account already you can go ahead and create one for free here or you can log in or use your smartphone to scan this qr code so i'm going to be scanning with my phone here and it's going to go ahead and log in for us and now we've basically logged into the windows version of steam instead of the mac version now we can now run many of these windows games on the mac so what we're going to do now is to download Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. So just go to your store and then do a search for Deep Rock Survivor. And uh, we can go ahead and make a purchase. If you haven't made a purchase already, just go ahead and buy it. So we're buying the Windows version of this game. And then we're going to make a purchase. And then once it's added to our library, we're going to go to library section here. And then we're going to go ahead and download this game. So you can just download and install it in its default location, just follow the wizard through, and then we can go ahead and launch the game. So we're going to be launching this via crossover using D3D Metal and MSync as well. So this is actually working pretty well. Once it's finished, go ahead and press the green play button right here. So as you can see, the game works very nicely on the Apple Silicon Mac. It's almost a near native experience. So anyway, I hope you found this tutorial on how to get Deep Rock Survivor working on the Apple Silicon Mac useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.